You are listening to the Anxiety Podcast, where we support you to overcome anxiety and reduce stress. We will get vulnerable and it will be real. Here's your host, Tim J.P. Collins. Welcome back to the Daily Dose. Here we are in the first week. This is so much fun. I love doing these little short and snappy ones. And it's interesting because I started out thinking, right, these will be like 90 or 30 seconds each. You can't shut me up. I love doing these. It's so much fun. But they, most of them are ended up taking like three or four minutes. So anyway, that it'll be what it'll be. And, and maybe I think it's good to like um, under promise and over deliver. If assuming you like me talking versus like saying, right, I'm going to do five minutes and I end up doing 60 seconds. So we'll just see how it goes, right? This In this episode of The Daily Dose, I'm talking about self-care and I'm kind of cheating on this one because I'm using your ideas because the other day I had somebody reach out to me on Instagram and they said, uh, I've got to tell you something else about Instagram in a minute, um, but I had somebody reach out to me on Instagram and they said, uh, I'm just having a really hard time. I'm kind of struggling and I need to like disconnect and do something else. And I was like, right, well, first of all, join the Facebook group. And for anybody listening, you can join the Facebook group by going to anxietypodcast.com. There's a button there to, to join the Less Anxiety, More Life Facebook group. Um, there's also other stuff there as well. You can buy a journal or become a Patreon of the show. Um, anyway, whilst uh, doing that, a load of other people then chimed in with their self-care reminders. So I'll tell you a couple of mine and then I was going to share everybody else's as well because uh, I think there's some great ideas on this list and and you know you can then see what what do people do when they're feeling rough what do people do when they're having a bad day right so if you have the means and you have the time and you have a a good uh uh masseuse locally then obviously getting a massage would be great that's really kind of de-stressing there used to be a really good one where I used to work at lunchtime I would go and get a massage that would be awesome but now my my uh, self-care thing is a lot of the time I'm doing my lunchtime walks. I just go out and the weather's been really nice lately, which helps a lot. So go out for a walk at lunchtime, get outside, sunshine on your face, have a look at the ocean, have a look at some trees and just disconnect and, and get away from the hustle and bustle of where, wherever you're at. So I think walking is great. Movement is great. We know that when it comes to anxiety. Nature is fantastic. If you live near a park or you can get out in nature, maybe you go and sit on a park bench and do a 10-minute meditation. Um, but I would also encourage you, if you're going to go for a walk at lunchtime, leave your phone in the office or leave your phone at home and just go no tech. Just go with nothing. Because increasingly I'm seeing more and more people are having stress and anxiety in their lives because they are connected too much. And that's why I was talking about earlier in the week about changing formats away from the social and more into the podcast because um, I like the idea you can download this stuff and listen to it offline. You don't have to be constantly barraged by pings and updates and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, let's tell you some other. Uh, so I posted in the Facebook group, if you're having a hard day, what do you do to, to make it better for yourself? I'm going to read some of them out now. So somebody, the first one said, laugh, listen to a video, or watch a video, uh, a podcast, TV show, or maybe Remember a happy event in your life and write it down in your journal. Go outside in the sun, walk around, just turn that frown upside down. That's some good stuff. Um, Watch The Office, funny YouTube videos. Um, Yeah, so whoever your favorite comedian is, go and tune into some of those. Somebody said they also Pinterest to find funny memes about anxiety. So I suppose they're like poking a bit of fun into it. Um, lots of people seem to like the TV show The Office. I'm not sure if it's the English one or the American one. Both of them are pretty funny. Obviously, the original Ricky Gervais, legend. Uh, American one's funny as well, though. Um, somebody had some more practical advice and said, I remind myself that anxiety will pass and bear through it. Um, so they're kind of facing it and, and doing that. Once I have that thought ingrained in my brain, it subsides. So they're really... this person's really sort of facing it. I'm not sure that's self-soothing as much as how to handle anxiety, but we'll take it anyway. Thank you. Um, Having a soak in a bubbly bath whilst thinking of some gratitudes. That's a good one. Um, Cuddle a loved one, watching something funny. Again, YouTube, uh, listen to a podcast while walking, another bath with candles and pampering products, quality family time, right? Get close to people that you love and people that love you. This includes pets in that case. Um, another person said spend time with their wife, more warm bubble baths, meditation, sleep. Um, the next one has some good stuff in it. So yoga, alternate nostril breathing. I don't know what that is. You have to Google that, but I'm trying to one hand like, 
cover one nostril up and blow out the other one maybe now i'm gonna look that up as well um walk in nature netflix a rum a run or a rum I don't know. i'm not advocating alcohol a run uh foam rolling epsom salt bath yeah i've heard about that before um my newest way to get me out of the house and out of my brain is dog walking or dog sitting they also earn money from doing it win-win um uh, the next person said yoga meditation play with my cat meet a friend for a coffee or go for a long drive there's so many good ideas in this group thank you so much for sharing everybody exercise journaling guided meditation loving on my fur baby <laughs> talking to others with anxiety trying to focus on the beauty in my life and world practice gratitude mindfulness um yeah lots of good sims somebody said sims yeah i get that um Make sure I get some me time and lose myself brushing my goats. Who doesn't want to brush their goats? It's all good. Uh, hot bath with essential oils. Lots of journaling. Um, also play with more playing with pets. Somebody said Pinot Noir. Like, you know, alcohol is cool, but could also have quite a large downside. So be careful with that. I wouldn't necessarily self-soothe with booze because uh, it could be a slippery slope. Um, more bubble baths. And somebody said no social media or TV, which is in line with what I was talking about. Forward thinking for things I'm excited about, e.g. Christmas, of course, like Christmas, Halloween. My kids are super excited about um, trick-or-treating currently. Um, Somebody else said, I watch a comedy show on TV, listen to a podcast, go for a walk, and more walking. So yeah, loads of good ideas there, right? Loads of good things. Um, I think, you know, the main ones are, the main themes in there were like watching something funny, doing something just for you and not feel bad or guilty about it, right? Be selfish. Take care of yourself. Put your own oxygen mask on first. So that is all for today. Self-care. Take care of yourself. Do one of those. Join the group. Tell us what you did. And remember, until next time, less anxiety, more life. Thank you for listening to the Anxiety Podcast. For more information, go to theanxietypodcast.com. 